What's up, YouTubes? I'm Danny. This is Mark. Welcome back to the Swamp and Stomp channel. All right, so we're out here today in South Florida on some public land. We're doing a little bit of squirrel hunting. We've got a few squirrels on the ground. And while we're out here, we're also scouting for turkeys. All right, so I'm not really a turkey hunter. I've done most of my hunting for deer. So I'm going to let Danny talk about turkey hunting. What? I've never shot a turkey either. What? Yeah. <laughs> All right, new plan. So we need to figure this out. Now, we've been doing a little bit of research on how to approach turkey hunting, and this is what we've come up with. So we're gonna have to find areas that the turkeys are gonna roost. We're gonna have to find fields that they're gonna go and strut in. And from what I hear, they typically stay around water. So we need those three things in one general area. So what we did is we went on Google Maps and we looked for these three things. And we found a couple areas that we think are gonna be promising, and we headed out there this morning. In my mind, this is a really turkey-ish area. Nice low ground, it's an easy place to strut for, for a gobbler. But then again, I'm not really a turkey hunter, so I don't know. Just found the first really good sign. So right down here, We've got some very clear turkey tracks. Got some turkeys heading in this direction. So that's a good sign that we're, we're in the right area. So um, we're gonna keep moving along here and every couple hundred yards, I'm just hitting this turkey call to see if I can get one to respond and figure out where they're hanging out. So we're out here following a trail that had some, some turkey tracks on it. We haven't seen the turkey tracks in a little while, but as we're following this trail, did find sign of the rare Florida beaver. So we're on to something special here. We just came across this, this little cypress dome right there. And uh, right as we come through, I saw this tree stand set up here. And uh, I realized why uh, this guy had set up here, because there's a ton of sign. So as you can see, right around here, look over here. See how there's been a lot of hog rooting? And this stuff is fresh. Like you can tell that this has recently been churned up and there's tracks all over the place but the way that you can really tell that it's super fresh is that there's foam inside of these wallows, which means that they basically just churned it up because if this, if this was a bit older, all that foam would, would basically settle out. So anyway, we come walking through here and I'm just about to turn and, and tell my girlfriend that the hogs were just here and I hear something in the bushes and I look back and there's a hog like 10 yards away from us coming towards us. And it was a boar. And I think it was looking for the female that was with this litter. And um, it walked right out, right in front of us. But, of course, you're not allowed to shoot hogs here during small game season. So, we couldn't take a shot. We just filmed it. That's about it. So been walking around trying to call with my uh, owl call and with my turkey call to see if I could get a turkey to gobble and nothing's really been gobbling. I've heard a couple way off in the distance and we just came walking into this area and there's this cypress dome here. Now a friend of mine told me to always look for the tallest thickest trees in the area and as we come walking by I notice something moving out of the corner of my eye and I look over and there's a nice uh, I mean, I 
I guess it it was a Jake. But it had a it had a beard and it was flying, and it just jumped out of the tree, probably because we came walking up. So I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna start glassing the taller trees I can see in the distance and see if I can see them in the tree, because I think that they're probably still sitting on the roost right now. All right, so we continued looking for turkeys that day, but we didn't find any more. But we did find that one, and that means that we have an idea of where to start when turkey season opens. Now that we have an idea, we're ready to go on to phase two of preparing for turkey season, and that is to pattern our shotguns so that we know what they're capable of. Now because we're beginners to turkey hunting, we don't want to invest a ton of money into them. So we're actually going to be patterning out some of the cheaper chokes and the cheaper ammo that you can buy to hunt turkeys. So be sure to check out our next video where we're going to show you how we go about doing that so that you can pattern your own gun before you head into the turkey woods. Alright, that's all we've got for you today. If you like the content of this video, give us a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Thank you for tuning in to Swamp and Stomp. Stay safe, be diligent, and good luck in the woods, guys.